Uh, I can't find the victim's phone. It wasn't in her purse. No, they never found it. All the text transcripts came from Gabriel Garcia's phone. Well, that's too bad. So Dr. Moore practically ran us off the property. Unhappy with the investigation? Protecting her daughter. So it sounds like Natalie and her mom don't agree on Gabrielle's case. She came in today begging me to look into it. Interesting that she wouldn't tell her mother. Maybe they're protecting each other. What you got? Contents of the victim's pocket. Shouldn't this be with the rest of the belongings? Let's see. What do we got here? It's an eraser. What do you think, Rex? <coughs> USB? Let me see. It's recorded as an eraser, though. Detective Porter was sloppy. But does that mean that no one ever checked what was on it? I'll get my laptop. You're fine, pal. Nine millimeter slugs. What do we know about the murder weapon? Well, it was never found. It was um, Natalie who told Detective Porter Garcia owned a gun, a family piece his father had given him, a World War II era Browning. So he lied to Porter about having a gun? Wait, no, he claimed that he didn't even think of it. The gun was an antique, and he said he wasn't sure it even fired anymore. <sighs> he kept it in a lockbox in his closet, but when the police searched his house... It wasn't there? Well, they never found the murder weapon. There was a cement mixture near the crime scene. Yeah, they were waiting to pour something while we were processing the scene. Rex, come on. Rex was interested in something over here earlier. You think he could detect something and bury it in the concrete? Yeah, it is possible. Cadaver dogs have done it before. <coughs> Where's the shot? I'll call the team. Tell them to bring the concrete cutter. Concrete mixer was here the night of the murder. Good place to hide a gun. I think Rex just found the murder weapon. 